Hey everyone, it's Christian here and I'm back with the Palmer View even though we're having a little bit of a deluge ourselves over here in Florida. Uh, you can see ditches that aren't really that flooded here, but this is a pretty big ditch. So there's been a lot of flooding in southwest Florida. Um, however, nowhere near as bad as in Texas and I, I hope everyone stays safe over in that area of the country. Um, so anyway, the review I'm going to be doing today is on our Canto Phoenix Cunninghamiana. And I'm going to try and talk over this wind and road noise as the storm comes in. I really want to get really want to get a plant review in here and let's see if this wind is going to kill me or not. I guess I'll find out. Um, but there's a, there's a lot of these planted in this uh, neighborhood called Palmer Ranch. Um, this is where my mother lives. And I come up here to visit her uh, once a week or so. And um, so this palm is native to northern New South Wales and southern Queensland in Australia. And I'm gonna try and zoom in on one of them here. Try and get one of the full crown ones here. Now, <clears throat> this palm is in the king palm family. It's Arcanto Phoenix Cunninghamiana. And it's related to uh, the, the king palm, the Alexander palm, uh, Arcanto Phoenix Alexandri, also the purple king palm, Purpurea. And it is probably the cold hardiest of the genus. Uh, it also is the one species that does not like full sun and it gets it here uh, full Florida Sun here uh, in Sarasota uh, you can see there's no canopy and they seem to do okay they don't look amazing but they look all right considering they have no shade whatsoever now um, when I say it was a cold the cold hardiness of the genus it probably can take down to about 25 to 23 degrees Fahrenheit with no problem below that you're gonna see some significant damage uh, there is a variety called Illawarra and that is the uh, the type locality, uh, or the name of the locality, of where the seeds come from. And it has more of a yellow crown shaft. These have kind of a pale green one. And they are supposed to take down to 20. I've seen some of my friends' place. They seem to grow very fast. And they seem to take the cold, where the regular Illawarra doesn't... Uh, I mean, sorry, the regular Cunninghamiana does not uh, take that... take that, Well, didn't take the cold in the, in the coldest of all freezes. Uh, here in, uh, in, in Central Florida, um, well, South Central Florida, interior Central Florida, where you're going to get down into the low 20s. And uh, now someone has waved at the camera. I hope he was happy about that. So, uh, so anyway, the, um, the like I said, the other notable characteristic of this plant, I wish I could get up close, but the traffic is really bad. Um, and I, know, I don't want to get run over in the median. I could... I would like to walk over there, but there really isn't much room, and it's not, I couldn't really show you it that well, even if I... Let's see if I can zoom in and do a little transportation here. Now, the inflorescence here is going to be a cream color. I don't know if that's going to come out but so well on the video. Um, I hope it does, but the inflorescence is going to be a cream color. The seeds are going to be red and shaped like a marble. Isn't that shocking? Now, the undersides of the leaflets are going to be green, where on an every other king palm, every other Arcanta Phoenix, they are going to be silver. Every this, That's one way to tell this, this species from the others. The other way is this is a, a little bit daintier of a palm, skinnier trunk, um, smaller crown shaft than I think every other species of Arcanta Phoenix. So, um, with that said, they do they make great growers out in full sun in California. These are very popular in California. In fact, these are relatively uncommon in Florida. Uh, you don't see this very often, and I don't know why, because these tend to grow in an area that's similar to Florida's climate. Uh, humid, subtropical, uh, you know, these take these want some canopy, but the other species, for some reason, they like a lot of water, and we have a lot of water here, especially in the summer, and we can offer the water in the wintertime, and they're not that cold sensitive. Um, they would do a lot better than many other species that we plant out They're, They don't get that uh, nutrient deficient. They're relatively easy to grow and rewarding. They're easy to germinate. They're very easy to germinate. Uh, they just, like I said, <laughs> it seems like I keep, feel like I keep on saying that, but literally for most palms, just make, just have a good draining mix with a lot of some perlite and sand and coarse, coarse uh, acidic organic material like pine bark uh, and some peat. Mix it together if it isn't already in your mix. Uh, plant the seeds about, you know, just about fully underneath the, the soil. The, the best way to think about how to plant, uh, you know, I'm going to do a separate video on how to plant seeds uh, and how to determine what the best planting depth is uh, for palms. 
but for these, I uh, plan them just, just about cover them with soil and uh, turn up the heat and these will pop. They probably, if you have a hundred of them, 105 seedlings will come up. So that's how well they germinate. And um, it's starting to get a little rainy here now. Uh, so um, they do great in California. They do great in Southern Europe where they can take some of the, the, the uh, warmer areas there. Uh, Australia, obviously, where they're native to. Another subtropical dry and wet regions. And um, they, uh, they really are great, great plants. And they, 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 they get tall and have this elegant look that uh, really is, is very simple, but looks great at the same time. So um, I'm gonna end this vlog here. It's starting to get a little bit too rainy out here. I'm gonna get drenched and I, next place I go, I can't be soaking wet. So hope you enjoyed this. If you did, go ahead and uh, uh, subscribe for more videos if you haven't already subscribed and uh, comment down below if you have any questions about growing this plant. And I will see you guys next time.